3.70 amps DC amps <laughs> cool right Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to teach you different methods with which you can self-excite Universal Motors at home. The project was requested by the previous video contest winner, Julian. So guys, you will find four wires coming out of the Universal Motor. One, two, three and four. Two of which must be connected to each other and the remaining two must be open for connection to run this motor and guys you're also going to need this 12 volts to 220 volts inverter or dc to ac converter so guys first comes the connection of the bridge rectifier okay so what you have to do you have to connect the ac terminals to any one of the two terminals that are left out meaning not connected now the other ac terminal will remain open add to the dc output terminals this inverter or DC converter will be connected, okay? Mind the positive and negative. Now with that being done, I will use this high capacitance capacitor bank. You can see a single capacitor is rated at 110,000 microfarad at 15 volts DC. Now guys connect the negative which is this black one negative to this black of the universal motor. Now to the positive you have to connect the left out wire of the rectifier. Now comes this 5 volts 2 amperes mobile charger you see 5 volts 2 amperes. So I have to connect it to the inverter okay connected now there are two left out pins black and red to which i'm going to connect this extension okay with red being positive and black being negative and connecting it accordingly to the capacitor bank black to black negative red to red positive now all i have to do is start the setup by giving power supply to this motor and that is going to run this universal motor and let's see what happens because DC motor speed controller okay that's the EC side this is the DC side to which I'm going to connect the terminals of the trade motor always turn off the supply first make sure at the start the speed is at zero this is the bulb that will be connected to the terminals to which this inverter has been connected yeah this one I will connect afterwards okay let's go Well, there was some problem in the wiring. Oh, yeah. you see, the water is turned on. Although at present it is showing low battery, but in few moments it should gain a uh, light charge and uh, the low battery light should go away if it is working. It seems like it is working, the light is going. I'm going to give you a closer view. Yeah. You see the low battery light is going away and the main light is getting brighter and brighter. Uh, somehow the light just turned off. When I am touching the terminal then the light of the inverter is glowing brighter. I don't know why is that. You see it is glowing brighter. <laughs> Let's connect it permanently to this point. It seems excited but it is uh, like getting dim and dim and dim and turning off. I think the bulb has got fused. Guys now what I have done is to one terminal coming out from the universal motor I have connected the rectifiers terminal and the other also I have connected the rectifiers terminal okay. And the output of the rectifier DC is going to feed the inverter and this 5 volts charger is connected here that is going to feed this excitation capacitor which is going to excite the universal motor so this is another way that I'm going to try whoa 
इट इज गेटिंग ऑटो एक्साइटेड I think I am seeing something here. Oh, the wire is hot. I didn't even like charge the capacitor bank, and everything is like smelling over here. I think I should limit the feedback voltage from the capacitor to the universal motor. I think this one should do. Let's try this. Bulb is not glowing, meaning that there is no charge in the capacitor bank. Let's see if it can get self excited like it did before. Whoa! <laughs> yeah! Oh, yes! I seriously did it, guys. Yeah! Oh. This is a self excited universal motor, guys. Self excited. No battery given. Automatically excited. Now this is going to be the third or fourth of my unbelievable inventions i knew that if i i'm going to set a resistor feedback it is going to work no excitation not needed oh yes <laughs> oh yeah that inverter is feeding it you see that it is growing better and better and in some time that low battery voltage indication is going to go out or some of the wire might just get burned because at present it is heavily loaded <laughs> and this thing is not present on youtube anywhere on the internet that's the first and i'm the one to do it oh yeah cool <laughs> yeah let's measure the voltage that is only 1 volts charged let's measure the voltage across the bulb oh the wire is super hot guys this is connected to that okay so i i can get the voltage from here one terminal over here and one over there yeah at present i'm getting somewhere around 5.27 volts if i get go a little bit faster on the treadle motor obviously the bulb is going to glow a little more would you like me to do that say yes okay <laughs> yeah it is working let's turn off the lights and then check it out let's see how bright it is <laughs> let's turn it off you see it's turned off and it is still glowing because of the circulating magnetic field i seriously just love electricity and there is so much to learn still now guys you all must be thinking that this method is super complicated well the good news is that there is another shortcut super shortcut at which you are not going to need any of these okay so for that i'm going to use this 12 volts ups battery next what you have to do is run this motor with a dc source not an ac but a dc source okay you can see that it has started running initially when it was running on ac the residual magnetism was zero because of changing magnetic poles the pole which was initially north became south and then again north so there was zero residual magnetism but now that i've fed a dc source to it the poles have a residual magnetism now using that residual magnetism i am going to self excite it without any external source this is a bulb you see in gandalson bulb okay let's connect its terminals now let's turn the supply on and see if it gets self excited okay <laughs> you see that it is self excited now cool right if you have a dc source 
you can attain that residual magnetism like which is present in car alternators and when you have done that then you can get it self excited but not if it is continuously running on AC source no other wire given okay super bright bulb Let's measure the generated current. Okay. Three point seven zero amps. DC amps. Ha. <laughs> cool, right? 